it's, it really is kind of seeking not to judge people's behavior, um, but sort of like trying to understand it. Like if you, if you judge people, then you, you're, you're kind of, you're drawing opinion about them that you're not, that, that means you kind of, you can just put them in that bucket of good or bad. And I just don't think it's, mm. I, it's not helpful. Um, I, I remember one of the things that really kind of, I guess it was silly that it sort of surprised me, but when we arrested sort of pirates off the coast of Somalia, you know, we'd have some, we'd, we would have to process them um, as detainees. We had various forms to fill out. You know, on one of the forms was, you know, a date of birth. Where were you born and um, when? And lots of these guys they didn't know the answer to that. Mm. You know, there's huge numbers of people that would be like, well, you know, I was born under a bush. And it's like, well, they have no concept of almost, not time, but, you know, there's, so there's no birthday. There's no um, concept of a sort of celebration like that or, or kind of anything, kind of anything remark, remark, remotely sort of similar to it. Um, and you just realize that, my God, that experience that they have grown up with is so unbelievably different to mine that even designing kind of a simple form to process these people, they don't fit in with that they, because they just, you know, they have no concept of some of the things that I'm asking them to sort of fill out. They're not being cagey. It's just that their experience is so massively removed from mine. Um, and I think that this understanding this makes me realize how damn lucky I was to be born just frankly in, in the West, in the developed world mm. to live underneath a kind of democracy where, you know, there is a rule of law, you know, frankly, it, it's, it's almost a bit of a miracle that, that, that that's kind of happened. Um, because for huge numbers of people, they don't live in anything like that. As you said, every single day, the question isn't how do I live a good life? How do I create some form of fulfillment? It's like, how do I survive? So that guy over that hill doesn't kill me. How do I make sure that I've kind of got enough food? Now, when you sort of flip it around, if I'd kind of been grown, if I'd grown up in Somalia, um, would I pick up a rifle and uh, go and have a crack at maybe a, a sort of ship passing by, sort of seek to kidnap them and take them for ransom? I probably would, yeah. because that means that I can effectively provide for my family. So when I was dealing with these pirates and when I was sort of, you know, creating the conditions for, I guess, how my Marines behaved, my line was always, listen, be firm. Got no problem with that. Be firm, grip these guys. I don't want them to think that they can, um, that they've got a potential opportunity if we're not really assertive with them. However, we treat them firmly, but we treat them fairly. Because if you were born in a different part of the world, chances are you would be picking up a rifle and do something like this. Yeah. And again, like that, that it's just my behavior, my kind of leadership creates the conditions for, for the environment. Um, and being really clear about those things meant that, you know, if some of the guys were wherever outside of those boundaries, I could come down on them and say that is, you know, completely unacceptable and sort of, you know, and grip them and sort of maintain the kind of moral authority that, that my role required me to have. Um, mm. That's kind of sort of how I think about it then. Mm. 